Ariel Hawani in Houston, Texas for UFC 192, alongside Sergio Pettis, who meets Chris Carrioso this Saturday night. Looking forward to this one very much, and I think uh, the sunglasses are maybe a little symbolic. Are you trying to say the future is bright for you? I'm trying to say the future is bright for me for sure. Okay, so what's the difference this time around? It has been kind of a, a roller coaster for you. I think it's fair to say that in the UFC. Why are things different now? Um, this time, you know, I, I think uh, for my last fight, I had a good learning experience, and uh, I mean, I came out, you know, the loser, and but uh, I've learned a lot from that fight, and I'm going to take that with me for the rest of my life, and for this next fight as well. I know what to look out for, and I'm going to go out there this time and be myself. You know, I was adding pressure to myself that was unnecessary. After this fight, I took a little break, did some self-searching, and I, I found myself, and I found that I like who I am, and uh, you know, I had that pressure. I feel like I had to be, you know, Anthony Pettis, and I'm myself, man, and I found myself. So is that the biggest lesson you learned after that fight? Oh, no, no. I mean, besides the fact that I got clipped, I got yeah. clipped really hard. You know, I needed to work little details, and, uh, you know, that, that showed me right there, you know, that I'm a, I'm a stand-up fighter, and I, I take pride in my stand-up game, but I'm good everywhere else, too. I could wrestle, I could stay on the ground if I needed to, and I think that fight showed me that I need to mix it up a little bit more, that uh, don't, don't take pride in my stand-up as much and go everywhere. I'm a mixed martial artist. That was a tough night for your family. Your brother said afterwards that in the future he'd prefer not to fight on the same card as you. Yep. Just a lot going on. Do you echo that sentiment? Yeah, I agree, man. Uh, you know, we, you know, when I lost, obviously I felt bad that Anthony had to see that and go out there and fight a fight. But uh, you know, it's uh, it's a sport, man. You know, it's uh, it's a different fight for both of us. We, you know, we, we had both different experiences. My loss didn't affect him. You know, he he went out there and he, you know, he just got you know got beat and. I mean, it definitely was a little bit more added pressure now. Like, you know, we, we had such a good outcome the first time together. They were like, let's try this again. And, uh, you know, it didn't play out the way we wanted to. But uh, now we know, you know, it's better to have different camps and just to separate ourselves. What's been the vibe at the gym for the past year? It feels like it, there's just been some weird things going on. You know, Anthony losing his belt, you, uh, you losing in March, Ben's fight. You know, it just it doesn't feel like it was... It's been a, a positive year for the team. Am I off base here? Is morale da down as opposed to last year? No, man. I think I think you know sometimes you need that. You need to you know get those those lessons in life. You know, and we came together stronger. We're a family out there, and you know we've been training the same way we always train. We have a great team, great team of guys, very very uh, positive vibes. Duke's an awesome coach, and you know we all stay together strong, and we're, we're building off of each other now. Uh, yesterday, Pat Barry actually tweeted an apology to you, I guess, stemming from what happened late last year with him and Rose. Have you talked to him? I know he's here. Have you cleared the air with Pat? No, I, just, I don't talk to him, man. I mean, it's not it's not like that. You know, like me and Pat, are, I don't have nothing against him or Rose. Okay. I think they're great people. You know, I wish the best for both of them. I have no bad blood with him. Um, I'm not sure exactly why I apologized. I wasn't there. You know, I was get, getting ready for a fight. That stuff doesn't matter to me. Whatever, whatever little drama they have going, that doesn't matter to me. I have a fight coming up. I saw your brother uh, post on Instagram uh, the new Pettis Martial Arts yep. Center. I'm assuming you're a part of that. When's it officially opening? Uh, first classes are actually today. So, wow. yeah, first classes. Congratulations. Today. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And, uh, next week um, after the fight, I'll be teaching right away. So I'll be in there, too. Is that in Milwaukee? Yeah, that one's in Milwaukee, right, right, in, uh, right, right in the center of Milwaukee. Is this a dream for you and your brother? Did you guys talk about opening something like this many years ago? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this has always been a goal for us. And, you know, now we're able to achieve that. And uh, it's, it's awesome, a perfect time in both of our lives. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be teaching again, man. It's fun, it's fun to be a teacher. Will he be here for you? Yeah, he's already in town. So okay. yep, he'll be in my corner and everything too. I noticed that uh, you also tweeted, everywhere you look in Houston, all you see are quote unquote <laughs> dime pieces, I believe yeah, you referred. Yeah. You like it around here, first time here? Oh, I love Houston. <laughs> I love Houston, man. It's beautiful. And uh, obviously the ladies are beautiful too. So, you know, it's a good time out here. And, of course, you have a big fight on Saturday, former title contender. Do you like this matchup? Yeah, I like this matchup. I think me and Chris are going to have a great fight. You know, I respect the guy. been uh, watching him ever since I was in high school. I've seen the guy fighting the WC in the UFC, fighting for the title just recently. So uh, it's a definitely a step, step up in competition. He's a veteran. He's been around for a while, and I, I like this challenge for me. You have something to prove on Saturday after what happened in March? I got something to prove every fight I come in here. So, I mean, it's, it's nothing different. It's, a, it's another fight for me. But this time I feel uh, I'm going to be a little bit more relaxed myself and less pressure on myself. Looking forward to it. Good luck to you, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it.